All right, now that we're in the cab, let's talk about controls. You know, when it comes to operators, there's a preference to controls. Even though when you work the drawbar, circle, and moldboard, you're doing the same type of work, how you get that moldboard, drawbar, and circle into those positions are different between the two controls. In this case, the 150 we talked has the joysticks. Some of the things the operators really like about the joystick machines is the ability to sit back in the seat and be comfortable. Other thing they really like is the fact that these joysticks have 78% reduction in upper body movement. And that really just allows the operator, you know, ability to have a longer shift and be more refreshed at the end of the day. You know, and these joysticks on the CAT motor grader are three axis. And when you want a control to move, or when you want to uh, implement to move, you need to move the control in that direction. So, you know, you have up, down is a forward, back, you want something to go to the left or to the right, you move the control to the left or to the right. And then if you want something to rotate, the rotation portion of it, you just rotate your wrist. And those are the three axes of this joystick. The other thing we have in the, uh, into these joysticks is we have all of the base functions of the motor grader built into it. In addition, we have the transmission. So you have forward, neutral, and reverse. You have gear up, gear down and other functions built into these joysticks, as well as with the, auto, with the articulation of this machine. When you need to go back to straight, there's a button. You simply hit the button. It straightens out your articulation of this machine. So the, one of the big things with the joystick here on this is the steering of these machines. And what we have is a joystick steer, but this is a follow steer setup. So what I mean by that is as you move the joystick, the steer wheels will follow in that position. If there's a moment, and there's a friction pack built into this, so if you have to take your hand off for a moment um, to scratch an eyebrow or do something like that, you basically take your hand off, it stays in that position, you put your hand back down, and you can take off again. But again, follow steer, following, the steer wheels follow where that joystick is. The other thing here with the steering on this joystick system is it's speed sensitive. So as you go faster with this machine or slower, the reaction time of the front wheel steering is different. Obviously when you're doing slow and you're maneuvering around manhole covers or around obstacles, you want those steer wheels to move faster. But, as you're, but once you move at a higher speed, snow removal or roading the machine, when you have a joystick input, you don't want the steering to move quite as fast. So as you move throughout the speed range in this machine, you will see that the joystick steering response changes throughout the speed. The other thing you'll notice with these controls, they're mounted to the floor, you know, and what that provides is gives you the ability to have feel up through the machine. And with those controls mounted to the floor, it does give you some sense of what's going on with the machine and what's working with the drawbar circle and moldboard.